Hello, I'm Atuba George. Now I'm so blessed to be here sharing God's truth with you today. Now, yesterday I, I told you today we're going to go into strife, talking about strife. Now, I said strife is a killer. Don't associate yourself with anything that have to do with strife this year. It's a killer. It will kill what God has blessed you with. You won't see it. It's not going to stop God from giving you anything, but it's going to stop you from seeing what God has given to you. So when you strive, you will walk in confusion. See, I'll read the scripture to you. James chapter 3 and verse 16. Now, if you've known scriptures, if you've known the Bible, or if you've been a Christian for a while, you should know the scripture. But I'm going to be showing you things from it. It says, for where, James chapter 3 and verse 16, for where envy and strife is, I want you to get this, for where envying and strife is, there is confusion and every evil work. Now, let me just paraphrase this scripture, what it's saying. Where you have envy and strife, sure know what's going on there or who's Lord over that place. Satan is there. See? Satan is Lord in that situation. He is, he is Lord. And now, now, why do I say he's Lord? Because he, he becomes the administrator of that situation. Everything you get out of that situation was given to you by the devil. God is not there. See, you, you, no matter how righteous you are, no matter how holy you are, you can get into strife and think God is going to back you up. God will never back anything that is done in strife. Never. I'm telling you the truth. He will never do it. Now, that's why he's telling us here that where, where you see envy and strife, even if someone comes and says, I want him. I, I won in that argument. I won the case. I won my money. Or, I, I, you know, you see, whatever causes strife, whatever you gain out of strife. Now, he says, there is confusion and every evil work. See? Now, who does who brings confusion satan who who does evil works satan now he he's the administrator of every situation that is out that is born of strife he's the one that is administrating it now that's why you have to be very careful i'll give an example abraham you remember abraham and lot when when their headsmen were striving one another over land and over where to feed their cattle now then, Abraham saw the situation and, and Abraham saw that, look, strife, there is strife already in this atmosphere. So what am I going to do? I want to show you the wisdom of Abraham. Genesis chapter 13 and verse 8. Now I want you to get this. So Abraham said to Lot, I'm reading from the New King James, Please, let there be no strife between you and me. I want you to understand the relationship here. Abraham was Lot's uncle. In other words, Lot was Abraham's brother's son. Did you get that? So, he's not talking to his mates. He's talking to someone who can easily be called his son. Did you get that? Now, Abraham said, please. Notice his voice. He even said, please. Let there be no strife between you and me and between my headsmen and your headsmen. Notice where this strife started from was the headsmen. But now Abraham said, hey, let's not cause this thing to bring strife between you and me and my headsmen and your headsmen. Let there be no strife. Now he now said, for we are brethren. Verse 9 says, is not the whole land before you? Please separate from me. If you take the left, then I will go to the right. Or if you go to the right, then I will go to the left. Now, this is Uncle Abraham speaking with nephew Lot. And he says, look, let's not strive. Now, the right thing by seniority, by um, respect, Abraham should have done was, look, Lot, let's not strive. You know what? I'm dividing the land. This portion is your portion. And then this portion is my portion. That's the right thing you would think Abraham should have done. But why didn't Abraham do that? If he had done that, you would have said, oh, it's right. But you know the truth? And I'll tell you this. Abraham understood what he was doing perfectly. 
Now, he didn't do that because how was he going to divide the land in that situation with strife? I told you something. When, when, when there is strife, Satan is the administrator. So, whatever thing you do to your own advantage in strife, Satan is administering it. So, what Abraham did here was this. He took himself out of the situation because he saw that it, it, lots of men were trying to cause strife. So they were trying to get him into the strife. So he said, no, I'm not going to get into the strife. He says, Lot, the whole land is before you. You, his nephew, choose first. And if you choose right, I will go left. And, and you know the story. Lot looked at the whole land and saw the best part. He looked at Sodom. It was so green. Look what it said. Verse 10, and Lot lifted up his eyes and saw all the plain of Jordan and that it was well watered everywhere before the Lord destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah like the garden of the Lord, like the land of Egypt as you go towards Zohar. Now, Lot saw the beauty of that land and he told his uncle, sir, this is where I want to go to. And Abraham didn't say, stupid boy. Because I just told this, I was just testing you. No, no, no. Abraham was dealing with strife from his heart. Now, that's something you have to learn. Strife is dealt with the, from the heart, not from the, 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 the physical thing. No, it's from the heart. Abraham stepped aside from his inheritance, see, because God had told him, I've given you all this land. But Abraham was ready to risk his inheritance because he didn't want to get into strife. So he told Lord, choose, and Lord chose. And Abraham said, fine, that's okay. Now, it looked like Abraham was left in a disadvantaged position. That, that's what, you see. So Lot felt he had defeated Abraham. He had won over. I told you, since Lot won over, he didn't win from the Lord. The devil was the administrator. So what Lot gained from that striving situation was not from God. But guess what? You read verse 14. Immediately they were done and Lot separated from Abraham. God shows up. And God told Abraham, Abraham, stand. Look, left, right, as far as your eyes can see, I have given you. Now the strife was over. God shows up. Did you see that? But what happened to Lot? He got to Sodom and you know how he ended up with Sodom. So get out of strife in 2020, even right now. If there's any situation that's causing strife, if you have to lose your money to do to, to get out of strife, do it. Praise God. I've got to stop it, but I'm going to continue tomorrow. But hear me, get out of strife. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. God bless you. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.